Hi, Gare. Good morning, Daria. So is the Bay Area big enough for Jonathan Martin and Richie Incognito? Oh, boy. I, unless you got something new this morning, I... Raiders aren't going to sign him, are they? Well, Incognito. I, you got the owner, Mark Davis, saying that he'd be open to it. He said he would think about it. And you know that Incognito himself has only named two teams that he would love to be with the Raiders, and he also mentioned Miami. Yeah, well, he's not going back to Miami. It's funny how we, we both... Uh, read that quote, yeah. and I, I took it as I'd really have to think about it like, boy, oh. I, I don't know. Oh, really? See, now I took it as he would be, and I know a lot of other media, you know, writing, he'd be open to it. He's not ruling it out. And then he said, ask Reggie, the GM. Why don't yeah, I ask well, him see, about it? You're, you're the type that looks at incognito and says, that's a man. Uh, am I, as, as that, well, no, I look at him and go, that's is... a big bully okay. and a guy like that. Is he a Raider? Is he a, would he fit with the Raiders? Would he be the tough guy, the mean guy, the Raider Nation guy, the black hole guy, you know, right? I, once again, if you're winning, then maybe you come into an atmosphere of uh, everything's going well and uh, you have to, you know, toe the line. But I, I'm just telling you, if you're rebuilding a team, you don't bring in some guy like that. You don't do it to be divisive. I mean, that's the baggage and everything yeah. else. Well, I'm, sure he, I'm sure he'd come in, you know, and be real real nice and all that business but i'm gonna die all i know is when you're seeing a guy who's on your team right. you can see that uh, i'm talking about jonathan martin now yes yeah, so he's not responding and yet you keep going and going and beating on him and physically torment or mentally tormenting him right i just uh, you know everybody deserves a second chance but I'll be honest with you, I, I wouldn't want him on my team. How weird would it be, I mean, to have Martin on the, the, the 49ers and Incognito on the Raiders? I mean, if it really were to happen, it just, yeah. it would be strange. Well, somehow so, I think we'd all make it through. Well, I don't... it just, it says a lot of, it would say a lot about both teams. Like you said, you don't think it's going to happen. But Well, well listen, I, my guess is as good as yours. I'm just... If no, I think it's better. Really <laughs> I think your guess is better than mine. Uh, <laughs> um, well, okay, so you bring up, you know, how, how things are viewed. I mean, when they were both on the Dolphins, uh, Incognito viewed it as good old boy club. We're having fun. And Ed Martin's like, you know what? This isn't fun. Same thing is happening to Shaq right now. The question is, is it horseplay or is it assault? Shaquille O'Neal, and I pulled up a picture just to show you how big he is. This is him with an ex-girlfriend. But, like, normal person, Shaq. Okay, look at the size. So... He is an NBA analyst, as you know, and he's in Atlanta. I guess something happened with this co-worker where the co-worker wound up on the ground. Now, Shaq says it was horseplay. The co-worker says he was assaulted, tackled. Shaq fell on him, and he had neck and back injuries, and he had to get surgery. So he's asking it, for money. Well, it's an, it's an open assault investigation. No charges filed right now, but it's an investigation. Yeah, boy. I... I now, once again, we don't know it, what happened. Maybe the guy said something to really upset Shaquille O'Neal, but he is uh, famous for just being, you know, a prankster and having see, fun. And uh, yeah. But, boy, I tell you what, you it, have a guy like that land on you. Right. That's the thing. So if you're that size and you are just having fun, you know, people wrestle around, and it's kind of like maybe a guy's guy's kind of place. You can't, How like... How big was the guy? Well, uh, I think the guy was normal size, regardless. I mean, I, you can even put... Uh, just, I don't know, he is six foot four. You put yourself next to Shaq and he would dwarf you. Yeah, and, and that's the deal. <laughs> this guy didn't file charges, though. Well, there's an investigation going. So, yeah, exactly. I'm kind of wondering about the money thing. But they are co-workers. That's kind of bad blood. Yeah, well, I hate to say it. Probably a couple hundred thousand dollars <laughs> makes you go away. Make that back feel better. So, Cal is giving blood, sweat, no tears so far in the NIT for Cal. Yeah. They're moving on in the quarterfinals. Well, Wednesday's a good game. They have to go to SMU. Yeah. And that's your old Kansas guy, Larry Brown. Oh, uh, yes. coaching SMU. Okay. And, in fact, was Larry Brown coaching there then? Yes, he was. Wow, look at you. Can you believe it? It was Danny Manning and yeah, Larry Brown liked, at the time. He liked girls, Larry Brown. Huh? Yes, he did. He liked the young girls. Oh, look, there's the guy who fell down. I was just, he fell down on the court. He, didn't fall, he was knocked down on the court, broke his nose. Yeah. Oh, Cal, player. Break. Cal player. Cal oh, player. I wasn't that's... kidding about the blood. Yeah, because yeah. last night when we were doing the highlights, somebody, well, you know, they said, well, it doesn't look like a broken it nose. Broken, but it was. broken. So Stanford women go to uh, uh, the Sweet 16 again, but it's their 21st time. Stanford men, I wanted to say you're talking about the coach. The Stanford men are going to face Dayton, right? Yeah. So their coach, he's going to be looking at the other team, and I'm thinking if they, if they beat Dayton, maybe he doesn't send his son because his son is being wooed. The coach of, the, of uh, Stanford. Yeah, his, Johnny Dawkins. Yeah, I'm like, I just think, why isn't the kid going to Stanford? 
Redfern. Why don't you recruit your own kid? Well, I, I'm going to take a guess, an educated guess. Your guess is as good as mine. Right. But, right. What are you having me on for if you know it? Well, but, what do you think? Yeah, no, it's because Dayton is just an overall program status. It's just a little bit lower than Stanford. Oh, okay. And I'm going to guess that maybe Johnny's son, you know, wouldn't be a Pac-12 player. I see, I see. see no. That's what's so surprising, you know, that Dayton is doing well. You know, Stanford, they play good schedule. Dayton is just a little step below. It, it, Gary, and this whole segment, what I'm realizing is you're wrong. Your guess is better than mine. You keep well, saying no, no, your no, guess no. is my, my guess is not as good as yours, period. Well, that, thank you, and <laughs> I appreciate that. No, well, it's just, Dari, this is years of being the sports director at Cron. Yes, sir, I know, which is why, because you have the knowledge, I want you to impart that. As I lay on my bed. And give me wisdom. Yes. All right, by the way, we don't talk a lot about Sharks, but the Sharks did clinch. Even though they lost the game, Sharks clinched the playoff spot. But by Just going to, to a shootout in overtime, they did gain a point. They did. So they a point is a point no matter what. Anything you need, just uh, <laughs> check me throughout the day. Check me on Facebook. All right. And I'll be sending pictures of myself in the shower. <laughs> Whatever gets you out of bed. All right. Thanks, Care.